Hey, what's up, everybody? Just want to take a moment to wish everybody a happy new year. Hopefully, your 2019 was amazing, and hopefully, your 2020 is going to be even better. Um, it's been a crazy year as far as silver and gold. We've seen silver, I believe, as low as $15, $16 in 2019, and we've seen it as high in the $18 range, where it is right now, right around the $18 range. Um, what are we going to see in 2020? What is the markets going to do in 2020? No one really knows. All we can do is speculate. Um, it's been a crazy year because the stock market has been at all time highs and we're st and but yet we're seeing silver and gold also um, rising with the stock market, which is a little bit different because normally silver and gold does the opposite. Not always, but typically silver and gold is going to react in the opposite of the stock market. Um, but there's always other factors. There's factors of, you know, how much mining is going on. I know several, you know, a lot of silver, primary silver mines have been shut down, which is probably also uh, part of the reason why uh, silver has been increasing um, in spot price. Um, so there's a lot of other factors. There's problems, a lot of problems in the other parts of the world. Um, which also is probably a factor in the rise of spot price. Um, but what is silver and gold going to do in 2020? Um, it's a great question. Um, in my uh, opinion, I don't think, you know, a lot of people say that silver is going to get into the $20 range. Um, it's quite possible. Is it going to happen? I don't know. Um, I hate to do a lot of speculation on that um, if I had to put money on it I would say probably it's gonna probably be difficult for silver to get up into the $20 range do I think it should be there yeah I, I do think silver should be um, you know 20 21 dollars do I think silver should be fifty dollars a hundred dollars no I don't think silver should be that high um, at some point, maybe it will, but um, once again, that's all, you know, speculation, and a lot of people, it's wishful thinking, um, but I do think, you know, silver should be in the 20, 20, 21 dollar range. Will it get there in 2020? Um, I don't know. Possibly, um, if I had to put a percentage on it, I would say, you know, 30 30% chance of it happening, 40% chance of it happening. Um, but I see a lot of people out there saying that they do think it will happen. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think silver is and gold is going to do in 2020? Is it going to continue to rise? Is it going to stay kind of flat? Or, um, or, uh, or uh, will it go up? Will it go down? Let me know. Let's take a look at silver and gold spot price this is going to be the last silver and gold spot price for the for the decade is today after today it's going to be a new decade when the market opens back up on thursday january 2nd it's going to be a new decade so we are making history let's take a look at silver and gold spot price so we are looking at silver spot price and it's crazy. In the last, like let's say two minutes, silver went from $17.99, almost $18, back down to $17.79. Bit crazy, but this is where we're at. We're at $17.79. Give me your prediction in a comment section below. Where do you think silver is going to be in 2020? Will we hit $20. Will we hit $20 for silver spot price? Um, my prediction is we will not hit $20. Um, will we hit $19? I don't know. $18 seems to be just a little bit over $18 seems to be the resistance. I believe it's hit $18.10 somewhere in that area, but that seems to be the, the resistance as soon as it hits $18. 
kicks back down to 17 and some change, you know, the high 17s. So um, I don't think we're going to hit 2020 or I'm sorry, $20. That's my prediction. But who knows? Um, it's always tough to predict the markets. If we could predict the markets, we would be millionaires or billionaires. Um, but there you go. Silver spot just changed again and we are at 1782. Let's take a look at the at the gold markets real quick. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what gold spot price is. Gold is up. Gold is up um, $1.80, uh, 0.12 of a percent. It is at 1516. Um, you know, earlier in 2020, gold, I bought one ounce of gold, my first one ounce gold coin. It was a gold buffalo. And I bought that when silver, I'm sorry, when gold spot was in the $1,300 range. And I thought I was buying on the high end at that point. Um, but then gold just kept on increasing and increasing um, to, to where we are today. And gold, again, gold fluctuates between 15, just over $1,500 and the high to mid $1,400 range. Um, where do you think gold spot is going to be in 2020? Do you think gold will hit 16, 17? eighteen hundred dollars an ounce in 2020 um i don't think the the precious metal markets are going to increase too much um based on economic fears um in the u.s i could be wrong again we could take a turn for the worse we could go into a recession at any time um but the uh the markets are at all-time highs. The stock markets are at all-time highs. Now, I know a lot of people are going to, you know, are going to comment in the comment section that we're in a big bubble, um, and we could be in a bubble. But as long as the Fed keeps on printing that money, keeps on stimulating that economy, um, and I think a lot of the credit, not just being in a bubble, not just the Fed printing money, but I think a lot of the credit goes to President Trump with a lot of his policies that are uh, propping up the the economy. I think the tax cuts were a, um, a big part of that. And um, let's take a look at the stock markets where we're gonna look at the stock markets for the last time of this decade. Let's go and take a look at the stock market real quick. All right, it looks like the stock market is mixed. The Dow Jones is down a little bit. S&P 500 is up a little bit. Um, the NASDAQ is up. Um, so it says the stock stocks fall slightly, but the S&P 500 still on track for 2019 gain of nearly 30%. Anytime you have a gain in the stock market for the year, you are doing pretty good. Um, especially when it's at 30%. 30% up in the calendar year of 2019 is uh, is really big. If you have 401ks, IRAs, um, if you had your money in the S&P 500, you probably made uh, quite a bit of money in 2019. Um, I don't have any money in the S&P 500 or the uh, stock market right now in general, outside of my retirement fund, my, I do have a retirement fund. My, uh, I have an IRA and a 401k. I do have money in there through my employer. But outside of there, I do not have any money in the stock market. All of my um, extra money went into uh, precious metals, silver, and gold. So once again, Happy New Year, everybody, for uh, 2020. If I don't talk to any of you um, on January 1st, I want to say it right now. Happy New Year. I hope your 2020 is, is great, amazing. Have a safe um, New Year. Um, try not to go out to too many parties and pay for all those expensive um, cover charges. And um, I don't go out on New Year on uh, New Year's Day or New Year's Eve because of the expensive, you know, places, most places raise their prices on New Year's Eve uh, for all these parties and charge um, cover charges. I just don't like to spend that kind of money. 
Um, I like to put that money, I would rather put that money into silver and gold and precious metals versus um, spending it on, you know, stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everybody. And once again, happy new year. Make 2020 a great one. Thanks a lot, everyone. Talk to you on my next video.